Hi folks, before I box this helmet up and send it across the pond, I thought I'd make a quick movie. Uh, it's uh, my latest helmet, which was a chance really to go back to basics because it's quite a simple pattern and this is a English Civil War pikeman's pot. Uh, and it's a helmet of two halves. The, the uh, skull and the brim are one piece. And uh, this is a wide brimmed pikeman's pot because you've got a projection of about two inches at the front and, uh, and at the tail. And if you look here, you can see a rivet, which is one of the rivets that holds the two halves together because this is an overlap and this side is an underlap. Uh, you have stepped or joggled edges which give uh, strength to the brim without adding any extra weight. And uh, all the edges are rolled and wired. So there's a piece of wire that runs in one continuous loop around the helmet, which again gives the brim amazing strength. And you have uh, a candy cane or barley twist plume holder uh, which is where your colours would have been uh, two pieces of wood either side of, your, of the plume or your flag or your colours or whatever you wanted to have and you push that down this is tapered of course so the further you push it down the tighter it would be and then that could be secured with a pin because there's a tiny hole at the top and the bottom to hold the peg in or the wedge uh, but I'm sure in the day they just use a stick anything because I'm sure most of this was done in haste and you've got um, some very decorative steel rivets around in, on the inset there on the step uh, but around here you have these rivets which actually hold a leather band on the inside which is where the lining um, is sewn to so I call that the lining strip and uh, you have four ridges on this helmet median or medial ridges and these are these have been brought up to a crease to give superior strength a lot of people call this an onion top when a helmet comes to a point and then the the very point has been decorated with four leaves and then a simple spiraled finial again all in steel very long um, solid steel cheek pieces and uh, this has uh, this is hung from uh, a leather strap there which is continuous which then is folded back on itself and it's through this loop at the bottom that uh, you would lace the two cheek pieces together. This particular helmet has been made for a client's son in that it's actually in 21 inches circumference so it's been made for a boy. Normally uh, my full-size helmets are made to 24 inches but the, the, there's never any extra charge to make a helmet to the client's exact head size because everything is bespoke anyway there's nothing off the shelf so uh, if you'd like a helmet like this yourself or you're just interested have a look on the website www.nigelcarron.com thank you